Good afternoon. We're here at the post-regional news conference with the winning Central Washington Wildcats, a 3-2 victory over Cal State Los Angeles. We're joined by outside hitter Madison Wegg, head coach Mario Andaya, and Bridget Webb. Coach, if you can open it up with a, a brief statement about your win uh, today over the Golden Eagles. Well, obviously we're very excited. You know, we knew it was going to be a highly contested, very even match. Um, just statistically looking at LA and, and us, we produced very similar offense, very physical hitters. So we knew it was going to be a grind. Hopefully that was one of the things that helped us through. You know, we weren't phased by what they were doing well. Um, and a testament to these guys, the hard work that they've put in. You know, they were used to tough moments. So, yeah, we're certainly, we're certainly happy. Madison, you're basically home right now. Yeah. Um, pretty sweet to get an NCAA win uh, in Whatcom County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of fun. I'm, all my family came and all my friends, so it was super fun to uh, have the home crowd here, I guess. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Open up for questions. Does it feel like almost a home game with all the special fans there? Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Sink? <laughs> yeah, well, even when we walked to the other side, that fifth set, I just felt like we were at home because mm -hmm. everyone was cheering, and it was just had that homey feel that we really needed. Yeah, we're, so, we're glad it's in Bellingham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Southern Cal, for sure. Yeah. Coaches talked about your team's performance. You guys arrived yesterday. You guys must have had a pretty good practice in Ellensburg, and the, the feeling of coming to this tournament and, and getting the win victory over today over the higher seed. Yeah, no, and you, we've been practicing well. You know, we've had some tough moments in the middle of the year. Um, and they came back with some resiliency, and, and they and they did it in practice. So, if we had a chance to stay a couple more hours at home, you know, we know what it's like here, you know. And so we we took advantage of that. Um, got up here last night, got some good rest, and, and these guys were ready to play. Bridget, ten kills today, uh, 304 attack percentage, four blocks. When your team was clicking, what what was working for the Wildcats when you guys uh, got went on those long runs? Um, just our energy towards each other. We weren't acting as individuals. We were just all happy for each other. So the fact that we wanted everyone to get a kill or do their best, I think that's what really got us on our run when we were up and happy for each other. Well, Mario, how does it feel to get past that first round? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, those, those type of pressures are there. You know, but we don't, we don't look at that. You know, they're in the back of their head. If I tell these guys, if they look at the score, you know, they're going to get clouded. I, as a coach, I have to make sure that I'm preparing my team the best way we can and not worry about how many playoff wins that we haven't or, you know, situations that we haven't gone through. You know, it's just, it's just something that we have to stay in the moment. And if I don't practice that, then I'm not a very good example. So. And that fourth set, you guys really struggled. Yeah, you know, we've been that way in practice. These guys get tested every day mm -hmm. against some of our younger kids, you know, and even when they're across the net from uh, each other, they battle every day. And, and a GNAC, I think, hel also helped us prepare, you know, because we've had some really tough sets and that we've lost and we've learned to bounce back from that. Um, but those are things that we got to take advantage of, learning moments, and if we can carry it over and have that opportunity to play in these types of situations, then maybe we're prepared. Yeah, there was no offense in the first set. So if we just got something <laughs> going, then no, it, LA came out real, you know, they came out um, the way they do probably. And we were a little, you know, our timing, you know, maybe it was some nerves, maybe it was LA's pressure. You know, we just didn't get it, but LA was digging the ball, converting. So they, they scored 18 kills. So um, they didn't give us a chance to go get on offense. So, but we're not used to that. We're used to producing offense, and as long as they work for our, our best stuff and, and really try and get those kills, then, again, we can make it a ball game where we can really come out and, and uh, you know, put a lot of pressure on the opponent. And then Maddie, you were getting to talk about what Doug played in uh, his set, the signing set that you could see coming from him. Um, it's pretty awesome, just that another, another ch chance to uh, play with our teammates. Um, that fifth set is always a tough one because it's a short game to 15. So you really got to um, start strong and even finish stronger and be consistent throughout the whole set. There's not a whole lot of room for error. So I think we did a good job at being consistent and being who we are. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole new mindset compared to a game to 25 because we can't let runs like how we did in the fourth set. So we just knew that we had to stay calm mm -hmm. and stay aggressive and have no fear in the hitting. Great. Thank okay. you to the Central Washington Wildcats. Yeah. Congratulations on the victory and advancing for tomorrow's match. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.